Hi, I'm Cindy. And I'm Ant. And we're from Founders, Founders Connect. Connect. And we're going to be on the online prosperity show. And we're talking about how to grow a business online with your spouse and maintain a happy marriage. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today I've brought you the Founders Connect uh, couple, Cindy and Anfani. Cindy, how are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Fantastic. And Anfani, how are you, my man? Nice and tropical here in South of Thailand. How are you? Very well, thank you. Now, um, viewers, if you're watching this show right now, you would understand that every single time we're always bringing in experts or people that are on their mission to either create a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And Cindy and Anferni today um, will be sharing with us how they're helping uh, lifestyle entrepreneurs to actually grow their business online and create a happier marriage. Now, you would understand that being in business and especially a successful business with your spouse is not the easiest thing. And being an entrepreneur comes with its um, you know, own unique set of challenges. But when you're actually running your business jointly with your spouse, it can take it to a whole new level. Now, we're going to be exploring how um, Cindy and Anferni have combined their um, you know, synergies and their experiences to actually create a business that's profitable and they actually enjoy traveling together and working together. Cindy's background is in corporate finance and Anif's um, uh, background is in marketing and project management. Now I could go on and on and um, talk about what you guys have done and what you guys are doing, but I'll just let you guys um, do it for yourselves. Tell us a little bit about your story or maybe how you actually uh, met. All right, so Cindy, how do we meet? Oh my, that's the story, isn't it? Um, we met at a uh, seminar. I, what seminar shall we call that? A personal development, um, find your passion type thing. Yes. <laughs> and we somehow found our love, <laughs> uh, which I don't think was the intention of the seminar. But no, it wasn't my intention at all. Absolutely. That is beautiful. And obviously your parts combined from then on. Um, how then did you discover that either one of you uh, could start a business or could do something together as you, you, I mean, since you just met? Yep. So essentially the story is that at that time I was, we were both working full-time jobs uh, in our respective industries. Uh, I had actually been, I was running the, um, the marketing for a co-working space in Sydney, uh, in Australia, and uh, had been doing that for about two years at the time that we met. Um, prior to that, I had, I was in a business with another uh, uh, co-founder, another business partner, uh, we ran a Facebook advertising agency for a couple of years um, and that didn't work out and was quite a stressful time for me and for my former business partner. Um, and I kind of uh, felt that, you know, I needed to go back into working for somebody else um, and, and, and not have the stress of trying to grow a business um, and just focus on developing my skill sets, right? So when I met Cindy, um, I was already desiring to go and create my next new thing. This is what happens when you sort of run your own business for some time. Um, you always, well, I find it very difficult to, um, how should I put it? Turn work, off. To turn off, but also to work for somebody else. Like I find it's really, um, it, it pushes my buttons. Uh, and after two years, I was essentially, my brain was frying and there were some changes within the company um, that was creating a lot of stress for me. Uh, and it was Cindy who actually helped me made, make the decision to leave the company uh, because it was affecting our relationship um, and and, his mental and my mental health. So it wasn't a good position to be in. So that's what happened. Uh, we then got engaged a year after we met. Um, and then a year after that, we ended up married. We, we had our wedding uh, in Sydney with our friends. And then a month later, we took off and started our digital nomad journey which has been uh it's, it's we're now in our 16th month i think um wow. traveling around the world and and about three months ago um we i had been running my own content um 
agency. So just creating, you know, uh, blog posts and articles for different clients uh, around the world. Uh, and Cindy had helped with some of that, but that business got to a point where it wasn't working and we learned a massive lesson about um, working together and making sure that uh, that both partners are on the same page and are aligned in what vision they're working we are working towards and at the time we were got we weren't aligned in that vision um, and that wasn't the right business for us right so um, that led to a, a period where we then had long conversations and emotional conversations and breakdowns and all kinds of stuff. a lot of tears uh and then realizing that what we could really help others with is the actual process of um getting clear about uh, your relationship vision and what is it you want for your relationship and if and if you want to build a business or a dream together what does that look like and how do you do it uh and then building a community around that because at the time when we were going through it uh we struggled to find the right support like i my friends who were entrepreneurs were not married and the ones who were married were not entrepreneurs so they no one could really relate to my situation uh, and i actually happened to connect with a mentor who who had been through through the journey um, and he was a tremendous support for me uh, and and cindy was in a similar boat where she was the wife of an entrepreneur but None of her family members were in that situation. None of her friends were in that situation. So she didn't know who to turn to. So we sort of sat down and said, okay, well, why don't we create that community and, and actually create a space for people in that sort of situation to come together and have uh, support each other. And that's where we are today with Founders Connect. Yes. Absolutely. That's a really beautiful story. And you guys are still together. That's even much more <laughs> remarkable because as you can tell, any relationship that happens within a business, either it's client to uh, business owner or client to, I mean, business owner to spouse, it usually is tainted, um, you know, with misunderstanding. And like you say, clarity is actually a very important thing right there. Now, one big thing that actually uh, causes a lot of frustration within um, relationships is usually the finances. Now, I would think that maybe you guys are cheating because Cindy is a um, financial expert. Now, <laughs> Is it's that kind of cheating, isn't it? <laughs> is that how you're getting by because um, Cindy has a financial background, or are you the one that looks at the finances within this relationship? I am definitely the one in the finance area, and definitely no money passes past me. <laughs> <laughs> so it has to go through me first. <laughs> so yeah, that that kind of helps with the flow of the business uh, in and out and stuff and just keep in mind where we're going and just, uh, you know, keep the stress level down in that sense. And we, uh, that was a big part of us working out how to work together as well was exactly. to actually, um, so we just recently released a, a financial a guide to financial intimacy for couples mm -hmm. um, with processes and worksheets and whatever to help people uh, actually use the same process that we use with each other yes. um, because we had to, so we came from different, different families of course, and different money mindsets and different um, spending patterns and investment patterns, and behaviors um, to put it simply, I'm a spender uh, and, and Cindy's a saver. Uh, and so, it makes sense, doesn't it? <laughs> and so the first big challenge was actually Cindy teaching me how to not spend all our money. Right. Mm. Um, and, and, and not go buy things like, you know, put money to software and licenses and things that I thought were cool, but really weren't helping the business and were taking away from money that we could be using for our relationship or for our savings or, or to pay our rent, you know, things like that. So, um, that was an Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you so much for that. Unfair. Now, as a couple and um, as, as, as a business partners, so to speak, there are certain duties, you know, that one has to tackle um, in your personal lives. You may have, you know, a casual, maybe um, division of labor, say one cooks dinner and that helps with um, dealing with clients. Um, how critical is it to actually set boundaries as to this is home time and this is work time. Oh, it's very critical because uh, I almost kind of broke up with him because of that. So yes, very important. 
<laughs> so yeah, we have essentially like five guidelines um, that we sort of work through to ensure that we're headed in the same direction yes. and, and that, that we don't um, step on each other's toes. And, and, you know, we talked about having, first one is having shared goals, which we, this is very important. Mm -hmm. And the second one, which is what you're talking about now, Prosper, is really dividing up responsibilities based on each other's strengths. Yeah. Right. Um, and so like very simple example, I, I, I clean and Cindy cooks. Right. And, um, and, that's, yes, yeah. and, that's personal, isn't and, it? And that started like very early on. I, 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 you know, I basically said, look, if you want me to cook, you probably won't eat anything for the rest of your life. So uh, <laughs> good for, you know, weight loss, but not so good for being healthy. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. That is great. And Cindy keeps talking about, um, uh, you know, personal. Do you separate, um, you know, work time and and husband and wife time oh uh, yes we do um so we uh, we created a day that we can just do call a date day um uh, where we just shut everything down and just go and explore and just spend time together and just explore and learn more about each other you know so that's just giving us the extra like uh, what I call clear our minds uh, to focus on other stuff and also to um, have a, a closer connection in that regard. And it's been, uh, to add to that, it's been a challenge as well because we both obviously, have, we have entrepreneur mindset, I guess, and is you know, there's a tendency to talk about business during our date day. Uh, yes. And we've had to really sort of set our own sort of thing and say, look, okay, no, no business talk. Um, and let's just talk about you and me and what are our goals, our dreams, or like, because we are moving around from country to country, we use that time to actually explore the place. Like last week we just, uh, took, uh, we've rented a motorbike and we just rent up to like a beach up in the North here, uh, and, and yeah. swam and, you know, really enjoyed and, and were present to where we were and to each other. Yeah. Uh, and, and that's something that is super critical, um, to make sure that we, each of us feel love and supported. Um, and that we're not just colleagues, right? So, so we are romantic. You have partners. to be present. Uh, absolutely, that 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 whole presence is actually really important. Um, I've got a ritual that I have with my um with my wife. Um, mm -hmm. even though I work from home, I normally go in there and just ask her how her day has gone because right mm -hmm. now they've probably gone out shopping. They would have met something or someone. Um, that is probably a good point to sort of talk about do you ever have moments where you pretend like you haven't seen each other for the day and then try and reenact that whole couple how was your day just so that you can have an understanding of where the other person is at um at that particular juncture within your relationships so um just to address that problem uh we actually talk to each other every day so um and then sometimes uh, we are so uh, focused on certain subjects in the business that um, we can't uh, stop thinking about it. So we created a day that we called a me day. So in that me day, we can do whatever we like just to refocus on ourselves. And then uh, every single me day, after every single me day, we miss each other like crazy. So that's a secret there. Yeah, and we always end up, it's funny because we always end up like um, wanting to be together on that meet day. <laughs> and there have been a couple of times where we ended up just, just staying together and not, not going on our own way. But um, when we have taken the space to just like, I will go to a cafe and Cindy might go somewhere else. And then when we come back together, like, you know, whatever I've read that day or she's listened to a podcast or, or just thoughts have come out, um, we share that. And, and that really, it, it is like, you know, coming home from, from work and, and like asking each other, what, what's that like? Um, and so important to have the space to connect to yourself as uh, well. As well. Yes. Yeah. As Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. And um, just a, a little bit about your um, lives there. Um, Cindy, you are coming from a family of five siblings and um, obviously that's a really big family. How do they yes. feel about you? 
not being around them uh, all the time? And do you miss home when you're out traveling? And does that affect, um, you know, the dynamics of your work and, 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 and life at the same time? Um, I, because uh, my family is quite close-knitted. So uh, when uh, I'm abroad, since we've been traveling, we got married, we've been traveling for 16 months. I do uh, actually Skype with them quite frequently. Um, I think it's uh, once a week at least. Right. And, you know, and so we just keep in touch that way. And um, there, when there's special days, I make sure that they feel special and, um, you know, just uh, call them up and uh, do something random or surprise them and, you know, like uh, it was just last week, it's my brother's birthday. Oh. And then I just uh, surprised him uh, with a call. And then I also surprised him with a few meaningful questions, which, uh, yeah, he, he, thought, like, he was like, ooh, taking it back. And then he said, oh, you know, he's th uh, he hasn't thought about it. And I, I actually pursued that further to say that when you th have thought about it, I want to know the answer. Because that just shows that you care. So I think that's quite important there. That's how I deal with it. Yeah, and you've also got your uh, your family WhatsApp chat going. Yes, we have a, a whole family. Like everybody has a phone. Uh, we put it in a group and then whoever wants to say whatever, whenever, they just put it there, all the pictures and all the, what's happening. And yeah. Oh, uh, that great. Is great. Great stuff. Because some people would say, I don't want to go far from my family. And then that would just really disrupt the whole uh, dynamic. So if you're constantly in touch with your family, then that makes it um, easy. Now, just in case somebody's watching this and is really um, interested in knowing how you guys rock and how you guys do your thing and how else you can help them maybe cement their relationship that they might have with their spouse. Um, what's the best way that people can get a hold of you? Or have you got anything that people can sign on to that um, would help them, um, you know, learn a few things from you guys? So there are, uh, there are three resources I can share with you uh, and uh, anyone watching right now. Mm -hmm. um, we, I mentioned earlier, we, we created a, a free financial guide for couples, um, which is on our website uh, at foundersconnect.co. Um, we also have, a podcast that uh, is now on iTunes and on Stitcher. It's just called Founders Connect. Yeah, um, we also touch on these topics. And we talk about all these topics that, that you know, that are helpful for couples that we've been through. We're also interviewing um, what we call power couples, people who are um, uh, uh, further than where we are in their relationships and in their businesses um, and, and having them share their insights and, and their journeys. Uh, and we've got a, soon we've got a, a relationship counselor coming on as a guest to talk about, you know, what to do. Um, when you know the sex is gone, <laughs> so we're talking about so some some hot topics. <laughs> uh, and uh, the final thing right now is we've got we just we've got a contest, um, which is a, is a giveaway contest uh, with a bunch of growth resources and tools for small businesses. So we've got about five thousand dollars worth of prizes there on offer, um, and that's again on our website foundersconnect.co forward slash win, um, and you can go and enter there and and. Yeah, we've got we've, there's three prizes, so we're looking forward to giving those away and, and helping some small business owners um, grow their businesses. Yeah, on the way. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, that will be great. And I'm going to put all the information that you've just mentioned in the show notes so that everybody um, can get a hold of that. Now, wh what would you say, um, Anne, is your go-to advice, especially when when people are starting out and then they probably want to go into partnership or in business with their spouse or they already are in business, but their spouse is not uh, forthcoming yep. and, and helping out. What, what would you just um, encourage other people to, to, to do in order for them to have a happier existence or the kind of relationship that you guys have? Okay, so. Awesome. So here are our five sort of guidelines on how to run a business with your spouse and or, or without your spouse mm -hmm. uh, and still maintain a happy marriage. Yep. Um, Cindy, you want to start with the first one? So the first one is to have shared goals. So everybody has their own individual goals, but you also have to create your own shared goals in the business and personal as well. 
Yep. So it's really about finding the intersection between the business or career and your relationship. Mm -hmm. uh, and then having a, looking at the same direction because a lot of problems arise when each individual is looking at a different direction. Okay. Definitely. Um, and, isn't it? Yeah. And they don't clarify that. So um, the second guideline is to divide up. We talked about this, divide up responsibilities based on your strengths. That's in your business as well as in your personal life um, at home. So, so you know, you know, who's doing what, um, so for example, for example, cooking, cooking. versus cleaning, um, or shopping versus, or finances yeah. versus marketing. Exactly. There exactly. Um, Business and personal. <laughs> love it. And then the third one is to set aside time to hang out and not do work. Um, but also set aside time to do work, uh, because it's easy sometimes where we get in such a chill space where we're like, Oh, we really should be doing it's that so hard thing. Here. Uh, if there, yeah. Being on an island doesn't help, um, but uh, yeah, you want to make sure you have really time allocated in your calendar for, you know, romance time versus work time, right? Um, the fourth one, Cindy? Well, you have to listen to uh, each other, give constructive feedback and also be open and, and honest with each other, really. So, yeah. yeah. And that, that's really, you know, being willing to have the honest conversations when it's difficult to say certain things. Yes, very uh, difficult. Because you're worried that, you know, you want to protect your partner, um, but actually by holding back on what you're feeling in that moment, it, it's actually not in the best interest of the relationship. Yeah. Uh, and so we've had to learn how to develop that as a skill. Um, and, and so we've sort of now arrived at a point where if you feel scared about it, do it, uh, because that's actually, a, we, we appreciate that much more from each other. Um, and, Definitely. And number five, Cindy? Well, treat each other with respect and also think of, um, what I call it, what kind of kindness actions or things you can do for your partner and be patient. I, I need a person who's patient. <laughs> so, you know, so, and, um, I think most importantly is to practice forgiveness, forgiveness for yourself and for your partner and as a couple. Yeah. We're both sort of, you're both learning how to live in the world. You're both yep. learning how to, you know, go after your dreams and they might be different and, and they might be the same. Mm -hmm. Um, so, and we all make mistakes and we're human. So, you know, kindness and respect and forgiveness are, are, are strong skills, um, that help Definitely. with that journey. Yes. So there are sort of our five sort of guidelines for, you know, building a happy marriage and, and, and supporting each other's dreams. Yes, exactly. Absolutely. Absolutely. And thank you so much for sharing those. Now, while you were talking, something just struck me a little bit um, that, you know, when you're in business, um, there's highs, there's lows, there's success, there's failure. Um, let's really end this on a really good uh, sort of note how do you guys celebrate the successes when they're actually happening at the same time um, you know what I mean like I would I can't wait to jump on and or go home and tell my wife oh we got this big deal but if it happens in the same sort of space how do you um, how do you celebrate the, the successes in a way that it sticks so do you want to talk about our uh, rewards challenge <laughs> No, you're trying, baby. Okay, so essentially, um, we have one of the things that we want to do is to go um, like we. I can't dive, but we can snorkel, uh, and so one of the things, and that there's obviously an expense to that. Um, so we've set a, a sort of forward goal to say, okay, if we hit, uh, you know, number sort of top 10 on iTunes or whatever it is for, for our podcast, then we're going to go and celebrate by doing the snorkel thing. Wow. Right. Yeah. Um, and, and, and so that sort of is a reward, uh, but it's also a, a way for us to motivate each other to go and, and, and achieve certain things, you know, together. Yeah. So for uh, instant reward, we usually just uh, go have a, an expensive uh, restaurant or a, a, a mini experience kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's, yeah, it's just, it's also celebrating in the moment as well. Like we do the high fives and the hugs and the, you know, well done, babe. And, <laughs> um, yes. and then uh, yeah. I'm sure he will post everything on uh, social media. <laughs> <laughs> we got to share our love with the world, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Inspire others as well. <laughs> absolutely. True. Absolutely. I can't thank you enough. Um, and Fanny and uh, Cindy for your time uh, on the show today. I know you could be, out there celebrating or doing um, things on the island while some of us are here in the concrete jungle. But 
I can I can definitely say don't forget to celebrate your successes together like what um, uh, Cindy and Anfer are doing. You know, when you reach important milestones or you exceed an expected revenue uh, for the month, it's really time to to leave work to work and actually live um, a happier existence. And as we've noticed, when you're working with your spouse, just remember that professional success is tied to some of the principles that um, also affect um you know, the, the, the home life. So you need to be true to your partner in order to thrive and prosper. I can't thank you guys enough for sharing your life with us today and your time and expertise, um, you know, on how you're helping other businesses to actually have happier marriages and have um, prosperous businesses. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's a pleasure, really. <laughs> thank you. Great. Thank son. you for uh, sharing your greatness with us as well. Love what you're doing, Prosper. And, uh, Thumbs up to you. Great stuff.